Welcome back to Access Hollywood's Housewives Nightcap. We have a Beverly Hills first season success. Welcome, Garcelle. I'm so happy to be here. Hi. You are killing it. Like, killing it on every, like, aspect of your life. So we're just so excited to have you on. But also, our first question was, like, we're surprised Garcelle is coming back to another season of The Real Housewives because, you know, last season ended not so great and then you're just killing it on everything else. So we were a little surprised right. that you came back. Oh, that's really great. You know, a lot of people said that on social media, like, you know, you're still going back, but I enjoy it. I enjoy half of it. Um, <laughs> some of it is really fun. The girls, you know, we can really have a great time. And the sticky situations are what I'm not fond of, but I know it's part of the show. So I'm happy to be back. I'm, you know, I'm not expecting to do it for 10 years like some of the other women, um, but you know, for now I'm sticking around. Garcelle, you, like I, in your intro, I called you a first season success. Cause I'm like, this woman took this show and has now has a podcast. She's a host of The Real. I mean, you have so many things going on. Yeah. I'm like, you did it right. Um, you. I don't know so if there's a I right guess... or wrong way to do it, but I'm a hustler. And I, you know, I always say this, it's because I think my, you know, being an immigrant coming to the United States, I feel like opportunities are here for the taking. And so I try to take as many as I can that come my way. You totally did. Good, though. Did you know going into the show, did you have a strategy in your mind? No, I mean, I don't think you can have strategy. I mean, obviously it's not scripted. So I can't say, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And they're going to capture it. Um, that was the hardest thing for me, knowing that, like, they never said action. <laughs> like, you just, you just start. Um, no strategy. I mean, I, I was a fan. I watched Beverly Hills. I watched Atlanta. But there's, there's a thing about watching it and then being on it. It's a totally different mindset, really. Yeah. Now, going into the second season, did you change anything? Did you change any of your mindset? I know last season you already were so open. But did you do anything different this time around? No, because I think, you know, the audience will be able to sniff that out if you're not being authentic. So I always try to be authentic, no, wherever, no matter where I am. But I think this year I was kind of a little bit more nervous because I've been told that at your second year, you know, they come for you. So I was kind of like looking around and waiting. And, um, you know, that's part of their job. And I have to say that, you know, I think the Erica drama took over most things. We Lots know you have there. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot to unpack, and we know that you don't really want to um, get into it, but can you tell us that we will see this play out? Oh, you will absolutely see it play out because we're learning as she's learning some of the stuff, and, you know, you got to give her uh, a pat on the back because she really showed up, you know, I don't know if I would have had I had all that going on um, and being on a reality show, but she really showed up. I would have canceled my contract. I would have called my lawyer. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I would have moved back to Haiti. I would have been selling coconuts on the side of the road. I'm out. <laughs> so cool, like, don't okay, write. Good. I yeah. uh, Garcelle, I have to so say, fast. sorry. I have to say, I'm so glad because we tend to see first season housewives come back with a new nose, new cheeks, <laughs> new... <laughs> 30 pound weight loss um and I, I, love I, had done. I wish I had done the weight loss because no you know, you are your face, you yeah. Garcelle. yeah no I mean I haven't even had Botox I have to say oh. I did get my um my implants uh taken out because I've had them on too long so this is the first time I'm talking about it so that's the only thing I did because they were really not healthy for my body do you ever feel like you have to keep up with the other women? Because, I mean, we talk to so many housewives, and they're always like, the Beverly Hills, I don't know how I would keep up with them if I was on the, in that city. Yeah, I mean, I think we all bring such different things that if I was trying to be Dorit and wearing designer everywhere, that really wouldn't seem authentically me. Right. If I was trying to, oh, I'm not bringing up dancing on social media, but... It, <laughs> If I were to do that, that wouldn't seem authentically me. So, um, so yeah, no, nothing changed except for a little, you know, coke weight. Which we all have, let's be honest. No all kidding. Of us have. No kidding. 
Okay, so besides the Erica stuff, which I'm glad to know that she is going to bring it. She's yeah. going to be honest about it because we do know Erica. And in the past, sometimes, you know, she's like a, a wall. She can be guarded. She yeah, can be very... for sure. For sure. I mean, I think we all have a little bit of that. You know what I mean? We keep our guard up. And I think that's for me, the hardest part for me for the show, because I'm such an open, fun, loving, let's have a good time. And then I forget that I can't let my guard down completely. Mm. And that's the unfortunate part. So besides the Erica stuff, what else? What are we going to see on this season? Kathy Hilton is hilarious. You're going to love Kathy Hilton. Um, Sutton and I, our friendship grew over time, which is really great. You're going to see Crystal um, Minkoff, and uh, she's the new addition. And, you know, we all really had some really fun, but also some tough conversations, you know, especially Kyle and I. And uh, conversations that the world's having, but you can't ignore it because it's all part of our lives. You and Kyle have never really seen eye to eye. Um, we noticed you unfollowed her on Instagram. So can we assume you're not in a good place right now? No, we are in a good place right now. I unfollowed her after the reunion. I thought, you know, it took me two days to shake off that reunion. I had never done anything like that for me. It felt so toxic that I didn't want to follow. I, I follow people who inspire me, who I want to, you know, I want to see what they're doing. I'm happy for them. And at that time, I did not want to see Kyle on my timeline, to be completely honest. And Rena. Oh. So yeah, where is your relationship with Lisa this time around? We're still trying to figure it out. We're really trying to figure it out. It was really hard to see um, her mistreatment of Denise you know, for a friend that she's had so long. And, uh, and so we're trying to figure it out as we go along, but slowly. Have you talked to Denise? I mean, I have, yeah. we talk all the time. We just got together and, and had dinner. And I keep saying that she looks younger and happier since she left the show. Yeah. The show took a beating on. It Denise. took a beating on her and it was really tough. And, you know, I, the world has changed. And every t anytime you see um, a woman being hurt, it's tough to watch. It, it, it's tough. It's like the world is changing. I think we need to change a little bit too. Yeah. It was yeah just, we Emily and I were just talking about that earlier. It was just too much. We think it was overplayed. It was like too okay. much. Like if her, like, I, honestly, it's 2020. I don't care who's lesbian. I don't care who goes down on who. I really, I don't care. Unless it affects, right. you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was one of the things I feel like last season, we lost a lot of the fun because it became yes. about that. And I think what's great about this season and I hope is that they bring, because we did have fun. So I hope they bring a lot more fun to it. So it's balanced. Otherwise, it's tough to watch. So much um, social upheaval, I mean, on top of the virus. Obviously, you're the only African-American woman on the show. Can you tell us what it was like for you just having these conversations with your cast members? A lot of them were very vocal on social media. And I just wonder, from your perspective, did you feel supported? Um, did I feel supported? I think the plight was supported. You know what I mean? I think everybody yes. got what we were trying to do with BLM and protesting and George Floyd. I think everybody got it. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes what's interesting in the, is the conversations we have that some people weren't aware what they said was not okay. And you'll see that play out. But we definitely have conversations about race, about you know me walking to a room versus them walking to a room. So you'll, see, you'll see a lot of that. I'm in, hopeful in, for that. In, 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 you know, in time, not all at one time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the show's not about that, but it's hard to not talk about that. Well, like we said, we watch, we'd love to watch to see you guys with your beautiful clothes and your beautiful diamonds and all these trips and everything. But at the same time, I'm really hopeful because I think the Bravo audience could learn a lot. Yeah, exactly. I think those conversations are important. But I also think that if we were talking about them, then we're not shooting a reality show right? Because right. it's happening in real time. So we have to, especially having minorities on the show, that's going to come up. 
Okay, so I love the reel. It's like my guilty pleasure. Uh -huh. And I just, I YouTube it and I, I can't watch live ever because I'm always working, but at night I go on. How are you enjoying being a co-host with these ladies? I love it more than life itself. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I've always wanted to do. when I just, you know, acting started happening and I had great momentum. And so I kept doing it. I remember years past, I would say to my team, you know, I really want to be a host. And they're like, why? You're an actress and you're doing well, but it's really what I love. I mean, hot topics, what's happening yeah. in the news is I stay on it anyway. So I would have done it. I would have known those things anyway, but working with Lonnie and Adrian and Jeannie Mai Jenkins, I should say now that she's married. Yes, she's got um, the ring. <laughs> it's really great because we all have different perspectives, even though we're all, you know, women of color on the panel, but it's really nice to get different perspectives and respectfully disagree and just have conversations that uh, our community wants to, wants us to talk about. It's so good. And, and, and your, your podcast. podcast. Your podcast. Oh God, well, the podcast. It's like sometimes I wake up in a cold sweat going, I cannot believe I talk about the things I talk about. Thank God my mother has passed. It would have killed her. Okay, Emily, I think it's finally time for us to play a little game because we want to go to bed with Garcelle, but make it Housewife's Nightcap Edition, okay? Garcelle, are you ready? We're going to give you some questions and you just answer them very honestly. Question number one, where is the craziest place you've had I like to say um, lightly, but I should. <laughs> I know. <laughs> On a beach. On a beach. On a beach. On a beach. There were sand in places I didn't even know how to get out. Who is the most, I feel like I know this, but who is the most famous celebrity you've gone out with? Uh, what do you mean gone out? Like had dinner, broke bread? <laughs> well, I would say, um, well, I guess it's between Will Smith and Sean Penn. I was going to say both either of them for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm dying. Did you see Will Smith's dad bod that he's been rocking lately? Listen, he will be back like that. Jada <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> he, he's not letting, he's not keeping that da uh, dad bod at all. No, plus Will is just like smooth. It's not about the outside with him. Like he's just smooth. He's hot no matter what he like. I agree. I remember when I worked on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, that's where I met him. And just the way he walked on set and knew everybody's names, he talked to the extras, he talked to craft service. I remember saying, that's how I wanna be when I get to, you know, to his level or, you know, as I start working. Because there was something about him that was very movie star, but mm -hmm. at the same time, very relatable. And he talked to everybody on set. Cause I come from the belief that you can't do it alone from the extra to the director, everybody in between is important. So I treat everybody like that, but he really cemented that in my head. Okay, so the next one is, all right, because you're in this Bravo world and we love our Bravo celebrities, has anyone slid in that is a Bravo celeb? Have they slid into my DMs? Yes. I've had a few. <laughs> Who can you tell us? I can't say a word. <laughs> oh, Garcelle. My lips are sealed. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Garcelle, like you're so open. You can't not be open with us. <laughs> I don't know what this person has going on, so I can't say. Uh, all right. Um, okay, mm -hmm. finally, update us on your love life. Who are you dating right now? You are, you've got it going on. I mean. Thank you so much. You know, it's so hard because I'm so busy and right now I'm yeah. really in a good place. So unless it's a man that's gonna blow my mind, I am so good. I'm so good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I just bought uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, sold out vibrator with the pink ball. And that I is almost, the ball. I literally so almost good. bought that. I saw it. Me too. Saturday morning, I'm on my phone in bed and I see sold out is back. And I'm like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I love it. You're taking so care good. of things. You're good. <laughs> I'm so good. Fine. And that wraps up this episode of Housewives Nightcap. Guys, like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you thought about the real Housewives of Beverly Hills 
season premiere. We'll see you next week.